Well, hello, my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of crafting with Shanita. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some amazing elements and features that Canva has updated for March 2023. I've been using Canva for a few years now, and I just really love how it is easy to maneuver. They make such amazing templates and give you so so many ideas that you can start your projects with. And I really enjoy the fact that they're always updating and really trying to keep up with other editing software and program softwares. So this is my go to is Canva. Now Canva has launched a few updates in March of 2023. And I'm just going to go over a few that really stood out to me that I would implement in my crafting projects. Now, the first feature I want to show you is what would be called the layers feature. Now, typically when you create a design, there will be times where you'll have multiple layers. You're adding layers on top of each other to create the design that you're looking for. And sometimes certain elements may be stuck behind a certain layer and you just don't feel like moving around your elements. You might be ready to print it, save it, and get ready to complete your project. And you might want to make a quick tweak to your design and you just don't feel like moving around the placements of your elements. And this is how the layers tool comes into effect. So I just created this really generic flyer and it has a lot of elements on the flyer as you can see here. And normally um, you would just click, right click, on the element and bring up the, the tab, which normally you'll right click on the element so you can access your tab to make any changes. But now the element tool makes it even faster and more convenient. So see here, I have this music. I, I have this music element here and I just wanna move it behind all the elements on the left side of my screen. So I'm gonna hit position. And then when I hit on position, I have the arrange option here, which is a wonderful upgrade as well. And then now I have the layers tab. And the layers tab will show all the layers and overlapping elements in my particular design. This is great. Since I clicked on this musical tune, element here it will be highlighted and then I can click the three dots to change the position of that specific element or I can drag it up and down and move it where I want it to be on my page. I really like this feature because I know I've had some designs where I wanted to move a specific element and I had to end up moving so many things around to get to the element. So this is really a uh, definitely a time saver and a great tool to implement in your design process. Next, I want to go over gradients. A lot of times when you go into Canva, you might want to pick a quick design or maybe you have a design in mind and decided you want to just change a little bit of the colors and add more dimension to your design. And this is where the gradient upgrade or gradient tool comes into effect. So see, I have a blue background for this card, this birthday card. I'm going to click on the color tab here. And let's go ahead and choose that color. And now there's going to be a option where you A, can see the actual hex code, which is very nice if you wanna use this color in future projects. And you also now can click on that and you can change the way that the color is coming through on your design. You could keep it a solid color 
or you can choose the gradient tab which is now available in the new upgrade. With the gradient tab, you're able to add more colors if you wish. You could add a hex code if you're looking for a certain type of color for your gradient. And then you can choose the style of how you want your gradient to appear in your design. Another time saving feature, instead of searching through elements and looking for gradients, you'll be able to personalize your gradient with a click of a button. The next, I want to show you some AI features that are available with the new upgrade. So I'm getting ready to work on my next project and I always like to do some research and get all my um, notes and prepare myself for my next project. And this feature is such a great tool that I will be implementing in all my future videos. If you click on this Canva Assistant on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll see that there is a magic design and the magic right available for you. Now I used to use a program called Copy AI and it was a small, it was a subscription and this now is a great option for me because now I can have all my features that I get from other programs right in Canva. Now I do have Canva Pro and I do have a link if you want to try Canva Pro for the, for 30 days check it out at least you say you could try it I know I love it so with the magic right it would help you brainstorm with AI suggestions so let's take a look here we're gonna just type in a few words to describe what I'm looking for and then the AI will give me some suggestions to use so my next project is going to be about Cricut Infusible Ink. My next project is going to be about Cricut Infusible Ink. And the Canva AI has given me a little description that I can go and base off of. Great way, great time saver to help me with my future projects. If I right click again the Canva Assistant, I could summarize the text. I could expand the text. I could rewrite it and edit as well. Now let me show you an editing tool that will be very useful in your Canva projects. I'm really enjoying this next element update. Definitely a great way to edit your photos or your projects. So as you can see here, I grabbed this photo from the photo gallery in Canva and it has some there's people enjoying themselves and then there's a bottle of wine or champagne and then there's this element here which I would like to re remove and now I can do that with the new element in Canva. So I'm going to click on the photo and click edit photo. Now there's a few extra features available under the editing tool. I still have my background remover as a Canva Pro. Now I have the magic eraser. Now this is a great feature to use depending on what type of element you're going to be using the magic eraser for. But for this project and this element, I think it worked out great. Let me show you how. So I'm going to click on the magic eraser tab. And it's going to tell me to brush over the image that I want to have removed. I even can scale up or down my brush size. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this object here, making sure I keep my finger on the mouse to make it one seamless movement. Give it a moment for Canva to do its work and remove this element from the photo. If you're enjoying these type of tutorials and you're learning a lot, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of the Crafting with Shanita family. As you can see, it did remove the element. It did remove the element from the photo. 
Now that that's removed, let's replace it with something else. And we could do that with the magic edit tool. So just like before, I'm going to brush over what I want removed and let's type in what we want to replace it with. Let's do a cupcake or let's just do cake. It even gives me a list of inspiration to choose from as well. And it brought up four different options to choose from. I like this one the best. And then we're going to click done. So these new tools definitely help when you want to change your photo or design by using the magic eraser and magic edit tool. Let me show you how you can animate an element in your project. So I created this really cute happy birthday card and I just want to add an element to this design. But I don't want my element to just be static. I want it to be an animated element. And let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna go under my elements tab and I'm gonna look for a little puppy and bring him into the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my element, which is the puppy. And I'm gonna click on the animate tab. Now there's this feature where I can create an animation. I could drag the element around the canvas to create my own animation. How cool is that? So it gives me a, a diagram and it shows me how to implement this into my design. So I'm going to take the little puppy and let's just make him hop up and down. I can change the way that it moves, make it more smooth or steady, and I even can change the speed as well. Once I like it, I'll go ahead and hit done. And now he's animated on my design and I could go ahead and save it as an MP4. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you learned a little bit or a lot and I will see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting.